What up, this is Patrick Hayes, and in this video I want to talk about the structure of unity, give and take, and how this looks from a metaphysical perspective. This is something that is quite a unique angle at looking at the structure of what unity actually looks like. And it's something that came to me in a download uh, this summer when I was in Shasta. I was at, a, at Stewart Mineral Hot Springs and I was meditating and all of a sudden um, I saw kind of the higher order and the lower order of give and take merge into one thing and kind of give me this, this way of understanding the structure of unity in the lower realm. So we can think of unity as like being the unified Godhead at the top of all creation, right? The, the, the oneness that everything comes from, right? But how is that expressed in the lower worlds? And what are the differences between the lower versions or lower forms of consciousness and higher forms of consciousness? And how do they express this unity? And how is that seen? So there's probably a, a lot of different ways you could slice this up. But what came to me when I was having this vision was the idea of give and take, right? And how give and take are like yin and yang. They're like two different sides to the same coin. And how humanity is, or, or everything that really exists within creation, is going through the experience of give and take. There's a transference of things that are happening back and forth. And again, you can see this is like yin and yang, right? Daytime, nighttime, tides going in and out, people eating and then people growing food. It's like everything's like a give and take, give and take. And, you know, it's really interesting to think of humanity as being in some ways on the leading edge of consciousness within this particular biosphere. And of course, there are other animals that are really evolved too, like dolphins and, and things in whales. But um, just for the purposes of this, you can think of humanity or anything that's developed, say, free will in the sense that it can act outside of its natural instinctual um, programs. A greater level of free will is available to a being that can transcend its, um, its instinctual programs. If you think about nature in the sense of like um, molecules and chemicals or in like dirt and soil or in trees and um, how trees absorb sunlight, like all this stuff is very automatic. These beings automatically do that. So they don't really deviate very much from the code that, that was presented in them. And they're very much embedded with this guy in code the guy in program. You can think of this as humanity has gotten to this point where we've developed enough self-awareness that we now are training to become, you could say, creator gods. And in this training process, part of it is like, well, now you have free will. And will you choose to be in alignment and accentuate the guy in program of the expansion of consciousness growing in the nature of its true essence? Or will you, with this free will, decide to go on some other renegade program that's out of sync with nature and you know, explore what that could be like? And this is very much what's happening right now in the world. It's like, you know, we're humanity is exploring like the dark side or exploring this renegade path and then also waking up to its true nature of being able to be in alignment with nature and the momentum of the Gaian expression. So, at this point where we're kind of like given enough free will with our new capacities of our abilities to think and operate in a way that say um, other animals don't have, then it's like we're given tremendous power but also tremendous responsibility and it's like which way will we go? Will we succeed in becoming a creator god or not? So what's really interesting in, with this perspective of when I was looking at the structure of unity is this idea of give and take. On the coarser, lower levels of consciousness, the idea of give and take is very coarse. It's very um, like abrupt. It's not like um, we're doing a friendly trade here. It's like, just give it to me. It's like when, um, when animals are eating other animals, they're chasing after them and they're taking from that other animal, right? So it's very coarse at the lower levels. But as you move up higher in consciousness, then the capacity for give and take becomes more like give and receive, and it becomes more fine. It's less coarse, it's less um, abrupt and, and, and it's like vicious even, right? But it becomes more harmonious. 
And as you continue going all the way up to the one, eventually at the one, it's all oneness, so it's all harmony, right? And yin and yang merge into one, and it's all harmony. But in that space, it doesn't actually exist within the manifest world, right? The manifest world has these polarities, but higher levels of consciousness can express the give and take energy as much more harmonious give and receive. So then you see people that um, are taking care of each other or people that are creating symbiotic relationships consciously. And in these relationships, it's not just instinct, but it's a knowing that there's a more harmonious way of interacting. Now, if there's too much giving by a particular agent in the system, then that creates a drain on the system. And if there's too much taking from a particular agent in the system, that creates a drain on the system also. So you think of it like this. If a person gives and gives and gives and gives to the point that they're depleted and they've basically given themselves away, then they can't be the person that they're here to be and that becomes a drain on the system because they're not honoring themselves. Conversely, if a being takes and takes and takes and takes from the system, you see humanity doing this to the ecosystem right now, takes and takes, it creates a drain on the system, right? So it's all about coming back into this balance and understanding the balance between give and take. And what we're learning right now as humans is how to have free will, how to have the capacity to do all these things that are beyond just our normal instincts, transcending our instincts, but being able to learn how to harmonize with our true nature and the nature of planet Earth in order to create a give and take matrix that's actually more give and receive, and it's more win-win, and it's more balanced, so that then giving actually becomes receiving. And this is where the structure of unity really comes into harmony in its higher levels of consciousness, is when giving becomes receiving and receiving becomes giving. And it becomes this way when we realize, and when we, not, not just realize within our mind, but when we realize into our reality that by sharing our greatest expression with others, we are actually giving to ourselves because then we're blessing them with gifts so that they can return the gifts to us. And we're also blessing ourselves with gifts by expressing that true essence of ourselves. And by receiving the beauty and the gifts that someone else has, we're giving them the opportunity to give that gifts and then we're all th those gifts and then we're receiving those gifts also, which then improve us so that we can give more. So give and take starts merging into the same thing. I said in one of my songs, Dream Colors, there's a point where selfishness and selflessness is eventually melted into one. When it's revealed that the best thing for self there is, is to dedicate yourself to giving love. And this is the realization that really starts to embed as we expand our consciousness that there really is a harmonious balance of giving and receiving. And how do we create a give and receive environment that is harmonious enough that the giving becomes receiving and the receiving becomes giving? When we become empathic and we become connected enough, then when we do something for someone else that brings them joy, it brings us joy too. And then this is shared and giving and receiving becomes one. This becomes like the next level up from like, um, some sort of like, like a lion eating a gazelle, right? Chasing after it and taking from that gazelle, right? And this is very much the vision I saw. So it was like, like a triangle. And as it moves towards unity, on the bottom, it's very polarized. There's like, it's like the two legs underneath you, your human body. It's very polarized, right? There's two different sides and it's always in competition and it's like taking from one side to the next side. But then as it evolves, it eventually hits this unification point at the top where give and receive starts becoming the same thing. And the structure of unity from within the physical realm becomes very harmonious. And then it becomes something that we see emulated like in, the, in daytime and nighttime right? They're, they're polarized, but they're, they, they fuel each other, right? Like we need daytime and we need nighttime. Otherwise our entire rhythm in on this planet wouldn't be balanced. So it's very much coming into that kind of consciousness ourselves as we evolve that brings us more towards the finer expression of give and take and turning it into this harmonious give and receive. So that's what I wanted to share with you, the download that I got when I was at the hot springs, and I felt like it was a cool way of seeing the structure of unity within the space-time matrix and giving us kind of like a direction to move towards. So thanks so much for tuning in. If you have any comments or ideas or inspirations that came from this video, please put them in the comments below, and I'm super stoked to continue bringing awesome content to you. So again, thanks for tuning in. This is Patrick Hayes, and I'll talk to you next time. One love.